it is a manky Monday morning, but I think this just might cheer you up and put a smile on your face this morning. He's singing along. <laughs> Dara Curley, 10-year-old from Donegal. Good morning. Morning. Hello, Dara. Hi. Hi, Hi yeah. Dara, you're a legend. Le- Dara, you are a legend and you're now famous. And we'll explain to everyone why now, in case they didn't see you on the Late Late Show on Friday night. And if they didn't hear your amazing story, because you're a huge Manchester United fan, isn't that right? Yeah. Lifelong supporter. And you decided to write a letter. But not to Man United. Who did you write your letter to, Dara? Uh, Jurgen Klopp. Jurgen Klopp. Who's the manager of? Liverpool. Right. And why did you write to him? Um, because it was very annoying watching them win the full time. So I wrote a letter of complaint to them. Um, <laughs> and a letter of complaint <laughs> to the Liverpool manager, Jurgen Klopp, because they're winning too much and you're not happy. Yeah, not happy. And did Jurgen write back to you, Dara? Yeah. What did he say? He said, Dear Dara, firstly I would like to thank you for writing to me. I know you did not send me good luck or anything like that, but it is always good to hear from young football fans no matter what. So I appreciate you getting in touch. Unfortunately, on this occasion I cannot grant your request. Not your choice anyway. As much as you want Liverpool to lose, it's my job to do everything that I can to help Liverpool to win as there are millions of people around the world who want that to happen. So I really do not want to let them down. Luckily for you, we've lost games in the past and we will lose games in the future because that is football. The problem is, when you're 10 years old, you think things will always be as they are now. But if there's one thing I can tell you at 52 years old, it is that this most definitely isn't the case. Having read your letter, though, I think I can safely say that one thing will not change. It's your passion for football and for your club. Manchester United are lucky to have you. I hope that if we are lucky enough to win more games and maybe even lift some more trophies, you will not be too disappointed. Because although our clubs are great rivals, we also share great respect for one another. This, to me, is what football is all about. Take care and good luck. You're in clock. Wow. Wow. Dara, I didn't expect you to read it all out, so thank you for doing thank that. Thank you. That is amazing. And we just get a sense how how amazing Jurgen Klopp is. How did you feel when he wrote back to you? Were you surprised? Yeah, I was surprised and shocked and happy all at the same time. Yeah, but were you still disappointed that he won't lose matches? <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. a bit disappointed that he says, unfortunately, I cannot grant your request. <laughs> but your team are winning now. They won 3-0 yesterday, isn't that right? Yeah, that's they started winning with Bruno Fernandes. Now, so, Jurgen Klopp writes back to you. This is amazing. You're on the Late Late Show. We mentioned Sky News are interviewing you. CNN, CNN. want to interview you. So, you, yeah. you've become a celebrity. Are you handling it all okay? Yeah. Good. Has it gone to your head or anything? <laughs> no. No. Okay, now, what's the latest news in this lovely story? Who have, who's contacted you over the weekend? Old Trafford invited me, Mammy, Daddy, Dylan and Anya to... Uh, Old Trafford to watch a game. Oh, OMG. my God. The dream. So the Red Devils need you and they obviously loved what you've done and now they want to invite their biggest fan over. Uh, so you're going to go and see a game. Maybe you might meet some of the players as well. Yeah. Dara, this is just incredible. Are you excited? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and sure. do you plan to write to anyone else in the future? <laughs> uh, Eddie Jones or Boris Johnson or Donald Trump? That is a brilliant idea. Okay. Let's go through that list. Now, Eddie Jones. Eddie yeah, Jones is the England letter. rugby manager. What would you say to him? Uh, I would say, um, stop when stop winning the Six Nations. Yes. Yeah. Good. Well, okay. They haven't won it yet, but if you do write to him, Dara, will you also ask him to stop being so smug and cocky? Yeah, and saying rude yeah. things. Yeah, and demeaning the us. Okay, so that's him. Now, Boris Johnson. What would you say to him? I would say. Uh, Stop being so hot-headed. hot-headed. Yes, he yeah. is a hothead, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and, and he kind of talks like this. And it's like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> now, what about Donald Trump? That might be a long letter. What would you say to old Trumpy? I would say just let someone else run the country. <laughs> That's brilliant advice. <laughs> Dara, yes, you are Dara. incredible. <laughs> Dara, thank you so much for joining us on iRadio this morning. Keep up the letter rising and we uh, look forward to hearing about your trip to Old Trafford, all right? Okay, thank you. Thanks so much, Dara. See you, Dara. Bye. Bye.
Og oh boy, I tell you, that's put a smile on my face.